everybody, I'm Ruby Lopez for Creek Currents. Now today, I'm at the Lusher Center for the Arts, checking out some theater for the young and the young at heart, performed by Fantasy Forum. Now, I've got my ticket, so let's go check out the show. So talk to me about Fantasy Forum. This has been running for, what, 40 years? Long time. Uh, it's, we started it in 1970 okay. to kind of bring adult actors into the family theater world, the children's theater world. So instead of young people playing kings and queens, yeah. I've got really the best actors around playing these and turning these stories into, into magical experiences for the audiences which we tout as young and young at heart. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I enjoyed the show, so I can tell you firsthand that it's not just for the young, definitely the young at heart. It was great. Well, we, we try try to kind of keep the the parents entertained, mm -hmm. the older um, young people um, entertained, because we play the shows on different levels. So yeah. there's little comments that the characters are making that we write in, that we sort of improv during rehearsal, and so they become part of literally the script. Um, uh, this particular show, um, The Biggest Gift, we wrote in 1985 and has been running strong ever since. So, yeah. it's a fun show. Wow, so there's a lot of adaptation because I heard a lot of like uh, current pop culture things inserted into there. And we well. listen carefully and we yeah. try to, you know, a few of the dances or some of the dances that are, that are current right now yeah. and uh, the that. comments are all uh, definitely, uh, we try to stay as, as current as possible with, with the script. Now talk to us about your actors. They are extremely talented. They are the best of the best. And they, not everyone can be a fantasy form actor um, because you not only have a script, so you're a performer because you're, you can follow lines and blocking and all of that, but they also have to listen to a brand new character every time they do this show, and that is the audience. So they have to listen to very carefully to the audience and react to the audience mm -hmm. and with ad libs, driving the story the right direction um, to kind of keep things rolling. So the actors have to be writers, directors, they have to listen to the audience, listen to themselves, and hopefully they all stick together and are going down the same trail. But it's a lot of fun. And the boys and girls told him that they did write letters to Santa Claus. Isn't that right, boys and girls? Yeah. to see the all of these shining faces on the children and they're all pulling for you and they're all sending you their spirit. I'm so busy this time of year as you can understand but I never miss the Lesher Center's biggest gift because the children here warm my spirit and remind me what Christmas is all about. Mm -hmm. It's magical for all of us and without them we wouldn't feel that special holiday spirit that we all feel. That's We're right. so happy that they come to visit us. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. What's your name? Anya. Oh, you've, been a, you've been a good girl all year. Good us. You've been your house that you Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. You've been good all year. What was your favorite part about the show? Um, letting them save Christmas. Watching them save Christmas. Now, how cool was it to be able to act out with the actors, right? Huh? That was like really cool. You know, I, I want I want boys and girls to be able to come back to the theater and enjoy it, whether yeah. they're seeing, uh, you know, any production here at the Lecture Center or anywhere else. Yeah. This is their start. Now, I had a great time today at the theater. Now, remember, Fantasy Forum performs year-round. So, if you'd like some more information about their next production, you can always find them online at fantasyforum.org. We'll see you next time.
quiet as a mouse? <laughs> Two, three, think hard.